people in the fight game, those who regard it as being astute, are forecasting a world belt for this young man. And that's even after only five pro fights. But it's not just five pro fights. Over those five fights, he was scheduled to box 32 rounds. You know how many rounds he's fought in his pro career? Just 15. That's because he won't let the others get a look in. KO percentage, 80, 80 percent. Luis Garcia, he was 23 last December. What a talent of the present. What a mighty talent of the future. In the blue corner, wearing the white trunks. At yesterday's weigh-in, he tipped the scales at 12 stone, 4 pounds, and 5 ounces. He is a former European title challenger and brings a 35 professional record to the ring with 19 wins, 9 of those by way of knockout, 9 defeats, and 2 draws. Please, people of Limerick and UL, welcome the man from Munich in Germany, Alexander Sipos! Across the ring in the red corner, at yesterday's weigh-in, this young man tipped the scales at 12 stone, 4 pounds and 8 ounces. He is a former world junior champion with an unbeaten professional record of 5 wins, 4 of those coming by knockout and no defeats. Originally from Cuba, but now residing on the banks of the Lee, please welcome Louis the Lion Garcia! So it's a big night, big night for Garcia, big night for Sheepos, but a big night for corner, promoter Louis. Brian Peters. In the corner. Because this man Garcia can, can go a long, long way. This is round Let's one. Go, and straight into it is Garcia, orthodox boxer. It's not just an old jab, just no, for the sake of it. Come here. Yes, sorry, sorry, 15 rounds, 16 rounds Garcia's box now as a pro. And Sipos is now starting his 201st professional round. It's some difference in experience. So if you haven't got the experience, what can you do to equalize it? Talent. So let's see what Garcia carries in his bag. Snappy left hand, typical Cuban. If you watch them, and I'm sure you all have as amateurs, they extend punches, and then when they reach the target, they seem to gather another inch or so. It's amazing, really. And they only have limbs like the rest of us. Defensively, Seaposh is presenting a difficult task here for Garcia. Quick hands of the Cuban. Both hands are lethal, potentially, from uh, Garcia. So the big punch can come from anywhere, really. And he's certainly having the better of this round. Eh? Garcia the line. And again, that defence to which Dave Boy McCauley referred is imposing itself on this fight. She, it's the last couple of seconds. There's one way he can get through and it's to the body because the elbows Hello. lift slightly What's whenever... Uh, He's certainly been carrying the fight to his man. He's done more punching. And he starts round three in the same vein. A shrewd an observer as there is in the game. Anywhere, Macaulay, Dave Boy. Pointing out that... Uh, Garcia should use the body of the German a little more for punishment. But he seems hell-bent on going for everything on the head. It's fast hands, though, Garcia. Fast, fast hands. And he's ready to throw anything at any time. But he's hook mad. A straight right's a good punch. He's thrown that a couple of times, and now he's thrown it three times, and each time with success. Because he hasn't really thrown anything offensively in this round at all. 
but it's against that, despite all the punches that Garcia's thrown, but that one there did get through to the head. It was a good right cross, but it came from a long way off. This is scheduled for six. So at the end of this one, we'll be halfway through, and we'll be halfway through another minute. That was a slip, not a punch. Okay, go now, Luis. Good stuff from Garcia. But see again, right, the see gloves. Right, see what I mean now, Jimmy, when, it, when he tightens up there to the head, you can see that big gap there. Look, that's where you have to go, right in there. And if you get right in there, that's below your short rib, and that's where you'll do a lot of damage. By coincidence, the protector has slipped up his body, as you can see, and is halfway covering the uh, tattoo now. Yeah, the protector's far too high. It should be pushed down a bit because... It means you've you, you an even less uh, target to hit there. Look. End of another round, we're halfway through the fight. 23 years old, the Cuban is. See, this is what he has to do. He punch hard and punch often, and he'll break that defence down, but, but he's only yes, throwing two and three right. punches at a time. He has to pile them on, like four, five, six, seven punches, and really hard ones. Last few seconds, then, of the fourth round. Garcia's fight so far. And he looks a happy bunny, doesn't he? Going back to his corner. There's not a worry in the world on him, Dave. No, he, he, he's winning us very, very, very comfortably, but he's finding it really difficult to get through. He got through there, but there was no real power there because the gloves took the sting at that point. Still the expectant crowd here in Limerick. This beautifully appointed venue. We're waiting for one big punch or combination thereof from Garcia. And now he's beginning to do, put it together a little sequence. Surely you're saying to yourself, those arms must be getting tired of sea points. Slap, slap again. Okay. He laughs at, laughs at himself more than anything else. Apologizes for the third time in this fight to Garcia. There's not a bit of menace, I think, in anything that sea points is doing. But if arms have brains, his must be scrambled at the moment because he's taken so much stuff on his arms. He only won't be able to write the check after this. And it's a good time to remind you that Seapost went the distance with Andy Lee. And you know the punching power that Andy Lee has. It may not have been his greatest fight that night at the uh, O2 down in Dublin Docks. Oh. Something, went, on, something yeah. went over the feet there. Like Garcia did something with his feet to uh, Sipos, and then uh, Sipos replied there. I just caught a wee bit, but whatever he did there, he tried to knock uh, Garcia off balance. A little bit of choreography, Sipos. Yeah, they're, 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 they are know each other well. But it's just the same thing the whole way through here. It hasn't changed. Uh, Sipos, his defence is incredible. You can't get through. Uh, I don't even think Eric can get through there, and he's... He's still slapping and stuff, and Garcia's just doing what he does. But so dirty with it. I mean, it's, uh, Garcia is like, a very, very, very talented fighter. This is his sixth fight, and he looks like somebody who's had like, 66 fights. You know, he's absolutely unbelievable, and this this guy is one to watch for, for the future. Like, you can't, like, uh, in my opinion, like, uh, Sip Boss is so awkward, like, he would make any, he'd make Sugar Ray Leonard look bad, Muhammad Ali look bad. That's just the sort of fighter Sip Boss is. You know, he's, he's, he's a spoiler, and uh, he's spoiling Garcia. And, uh, and he's taking the shine off Garcia, but Garcia's doing a great job. And he's but like, if you had money to invest, wouldn't you invest in Garcia? Oh, there's no doubt about it, because oh. I, uh, there's no doubt that he, he is one for the future. No doubt about that at all. On a score of 60 points to 54, the winner of this international super middleweight bout is from Cuba via Cork, Luis the Lion Garcia. 60 points to 54, that's every round. Congratulations, uh, are you well pleased? You're happy? Yeah, I'm very happy uh, because my, my opponent is very tough, very quickly, it's, it's amazing. Good, good uh, opponent. Luz Garcia and Nicolas Cruz Hernandez, thank you so much. Gracias. Thank you. De nada.